Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make my shrimp cob salad. I've been getting lots of requests lately on how to make salads or healthier salads. You know, summertime is here, springtime is here. So I'm really thrilled to be able to share some with you. And this is a great recipe. It's a nice, healthy recipe. It tastes delicious. It's beautiful and it's super easy to make. Let me take your ready ingredients so you can get started. You're going to need some fresh baby spinach that have been washed and dried. I'm using turkey bacon, but you can also use center cut bacon. I've got some corn kernels here, some cherry tomatoes that I've halved, granulated garlic, some paprika, lemon, Dijon mustard, an avocado, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, hard boiled egg, and some fresh shrimp. Now the shrimp have been peeled and deveined, and that's just how I bought them. My supermarket, or my, my fish counter carries them already peeled and deveined, which makes my life a whole lot easier. I don't just sit there and clean it all up. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get a nice a skillet. It's pre preheating over medium high heat. There's nothing in it, no oil, no nothing. So to that, I'm going to add in my bacon. And this is turkey bacon. It's nice, lean turkey bacon. I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to cook it for about, I would say about a minute on each side. And you can absolutely use regular bacon, but you know, I'm trying to keep this nice and light. And also, I'm getting the good fat from the avocado. I don't need the extra sort of heavy fat from regular bacon, which I love, but all things in moderation. So, to my shrimp, I'm going to toss them in some granulated garlic and paprika, giving them lots of flavor. I'm also going to season them with some salt and pepper. And then just toss them together to coat them in the garlic and the paprika. I'm removing my bacon. And I'm just going to let this sit here for a couple minutes while I continue on with the rest of the recipe. In the same skillet, I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to add my shrimp. And I just want to make sure I put them all in a single layer because I want them to get a nice amount of color. I don't want them to steam. Just, that looks good. I'm going to let those cook for about two minutes on each side. They cook very, very quickly. And while that's happening, I'm going to put my whole salad together, basically. So, now traditionally for a cob salad, you use romaine lettuce. I'm not a huge fan of romaine lettuce. I just don't think it's got a lot of flavor. And when I'm eating a salad, you know, I want everything to be super flavorful, so I start with a nice base, which is either some spinach or some arugula or some spring mix, just something that has a little bit more character. And these, to be honest, these are just canned corn kernels, and it's one of my favorite ingredients, always has been, but if you've got some leftover corn, corn like corn on the cob, that you've steamed yesterday or from the grill or whatever, just use those. That's awesome. And this is a salad that you can put whatever you want on. You can put some feta if you want to. You can put some blue cheese. Traditionally, if you make a chicken cob salad, you do some blue cheese on there. But you can do whatever your heart desires, really. So, I've got my tomatoes here. I've got my corn. What I'm going to do is take my egg here that I've chopped up, I've peeled. And I'm just going to roughly chop it scatter that all over the top. And now for my, I'm going to actually use, go for the avocado first. Now, if your avocado is really ripe, like mine's really ripe, and I like that, I'm only going to use half of this because the salad is only for two people. So I don't want to use the whole avocado, so I'm going to take half of it, and I'm just going to take a small little teaspoon and just pop it right out. Look at that. You don't have to get a knife dirty. You don't got to mess a bunch of stuff up. Just put it all over the top of the salad. Looks good. So now I'm going to take my bacon, which is now cooled, and I'm just going to chop this into bite-sized pieces. Now before I add my bacon to my veggies here, I just want to season them just a little bit with some salt and some pepper. And I don't want to do that when I have the bacon on top because bacon's already salty and I don't want to over salt it. So now that I've got that seasoned, sprinkled my bacon all over the top. Now I'm going to just take my shrimp out, clean up, and then we'll make the dressing. I took my shrimp out of my skillet. I'm letting them cool there for just a couple minutes while I make the dressing. In this little bowl, I'm going to put in some Dijon mustard. I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice. Awesome. 
Now I'm gonna just whisk those two together and as I'm whisking, I'm gonna drizzle in some extra virgin olive oil. Mmm, lovely thick dressing. I put my, my whisk in a hot skillet. Whoops. All right, let's do this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top my salad with my shrimp that I have lightly cooled. Beautiful. I don't like to cut them just because I like to be able to bring this to the table like this. I think it just looks prettier. And now you take a spoon and you just drizzle the dressing all over the top. And you want to make sure you get it on the shrimp as well. Mm, mm, mm. Now I don't want to like dig into this because I am going to bring this to the table and I want it to look beautiful, but I'm going to steal a shrimp because I have to. I'm going to steal this one right here. And I've got a little bit of dressing left over in, my, in the bowl here, which is just for me. So I'm going to dunk my shrimp in. That is a good shrimp. Mmm, I'm pretty bacon too. Well, it's simple, it's easy, it's good for you. And guess what? Salads ha don't have to be boring and something you just don't even want to think about when it comes to wanting to eat healthier. So, go to www.laurenandkitchen.com, get this recipe, give it a try, let me know what you think, and I really, really hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. I hope to see you next time. You know where to find me, www.laurenandkitchen.com, or you can always find me on YouTube slash Laura in the Kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.